People are concerned about global demand because of the trade, so everyone's focused on G20. But are they overly concerned? On G20? Well, about I, demand I, in general. You know, I, I know when you look at the back half, which is what where all the concern is, when people say, can the earnings estimates hold up? Can the consumer hold up? We've had all of these tariffs. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Our view is the economy is treading water pretty well, despite all the, uh, you know, all the softness due to the trade issues. And the trade to us is a matter of when, not if. I, uh, when she a deal needs gets a done, deal. Yeah. Uh, they've really toned down things the last couple of weeks out in China. I think he's getting ready to, to at least shake hands with Trump, I hope. And the president needs a deal, too. I mean, the market is very sensitive uh, to this trade issue. We saw how quickly he reversed course on Mexico last week. Uh, you know, that didn't go over real well. So I think they'll at least shake hands at the G20 and get negotiations restarted. And we're, we're big believers that sooner or later this deal gets done. Yeah, and if that happens, is everybody on the wrong side here, you know, Completely. the trade here? Markets where would you... Way too cautious. Yeah. And so you can you... see all the cyclical names are pulled back. Mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about before the break, the tech stocks, the industrial stocks, even the energy stocks, anything that's going to respond to a demand pickup, which is not the consensus, but is our call, um, these stocks are going to move. So I think it's hard to be too negative on the market here, particularly with the Fed put in place which Powell, you know, put in, you know, really kind of reemphasized last week. So. Sure. Kim, when we look at your portfolio, I mean, we talked about Intel a lot last time. Um, we have Broadcom down big today. Are you buyers of weakness there? Where do you see opportunities? Well, the, the chip complex hasn't really sold off um, all that much, and partly because it's been pushed down by trade news. So there was some... You know, other than uh, Broadcom, that's down, you know, rightly today. But uh, I think um, investors are looking at a longer time period, knowing that these chips are going to come back at some point. This sector certainly will when growth returns. And I agree with the uh, other guests that it's imminent with a China-U.S. Uh, China trade deal. And I think that could drive this sector higher. What gives you that confidence, Kim? I mean, you hear what everybody says. And frankly, I look at the situation and I say, why would China agree to any Thing that would open, you know, force them to open even a little bit their economy. Look at what's happening in Hong Kong and how they're trying to figure out how to deal with that situation. I mean, it, this is an illiberal regime. Right. But, um, you know, they don't have enough guns to hold it to all individuals' heads in China. Mm. So what do they do? They have to um, maintain peace with prosperity. Mm. And prosperity for them is trade. And it's just that simple, that equation right there. So they have to come to the table. We want to come to the table, and I think that a deal will be done. All right, Steve, we'll give you the last word then. So you mentioned areas like tech, the industrials. So even the weakness in Broadcom, again, same question. That's something that you would look at today, not as a sign of doom for the markets, but as maybe a buying opportunity, right? Right. I mean, as Kim said, I mean, these markets really haven't sold off that hard. They're already sold down. I, I, I think that I don't know if the trade deal is imminent. But sometime in the back half, we're going to get one, and people will look through, and these cyclical names are going to have a run. So we're a little cautious here. We've taken some chips off the table, but we're still overweight equities. We think the year end, we're going to end at 3,100 on the S&P. So that's a good distance from where we are right now.